The universe doesn't hear words like I want and I don't want. The universe just responds to energy and the vibes that you give out. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be discussing the law of attraction. I really wanted to talk about this topic with you all because my life has changed drastically in the past couple of years and for the better and it's because of my mindset and the law of attraction and how I've changed my thinking. I seriously have gotten everything that I could have possibly ever wanted or dreamt of and I feel so lucky and blessed so I wanted to share what I did to change my life with you guys and I was hoping that it would inspire you and help you um, if you were going through a tough time. But first off, if you are watching this video, um, I hope you're watching it with an open mind. I know that I always try to have an open mind and I'm always trying to learn new things and listen um, and I think those things are very beneficial in my life so I hope they'll be beneficial in your life too. So if you have an open mind, then please keep on watching this video. That would mean so much to me. Um, and if you don't really have as much of an open mind, that's totally fine and everyone's entitled to their own opinions and beliefs. So you can just click out of this video or move on to the next one. But if you do have an open mind, then I really am excited to share how I got everything that I ever wanted. But before I get started, if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That would mean so, so much to me. But without further ado, I'm just going to jump into the video. So if you've never heard about the Law of Attraction or you're new to the idea, um, basically the Law of Attraction is the theory that you can get whatever you want if you just believe it. And I'm so happy that I've really implemented this into my everyday life and figured out that you are in control of what happens in your life. Uh, you just have to believe in it. And I know that sounds so cheesy and I know it's a little bit hard to explain, but I'm gonna um, talk you guys through it a little bit more. And there's actually five steps that you can take to achieve um, this law of attraction and get what you've really wanted to happen in your life. So the first step is you need to have a clear vision of what you want, whether that be a new car or a new job or something that you're really passionate about that you want. Um, for me, I know that I just wanted to be happy and find the job that would make me happy. So I had to get that in my mind and figure out what it was and when you're picturing what you want it needs to be a vivid and very very clear and specific image in your head of what you want so if you want a new house you need to know exactly what you want your kitchen to look like and picture it in your head um, what you want your kitchen to look like or if you want a new car um, picture what the interior will look like and the color of what it will be and really have that crystal clear image in your head. I know those are very superficial things like a car and a house, but it can be anything that you want it to be. Um, I was just trying to give examples. So it could be wanting to get a new job and you need to picture that job and you doing that job. So that's the first step. And then once you have that vivid image of that new car that you want and the interior of it and the smell and everything about that car, you need to write it down. So write it down, describe it, and it will happen if it's written down. Um, I write down my goals and you need to be specific about it. You need to put a date. Um, I want this or that to happen by December 31st, 2018. And look at it every single day and it will happen. I promise it will. I wish I started doing this sooner. I wish I started writing my goals down sooner, but ever since I've started writing down my goals, all of those have come true and they weren't easy things to accomplish. So the fact that we're only in March right now and about 80% of my goals have already happened, I just need to add more in and continue working hard and continuing making what I want to happen a reality. So the third step is to visualize it. So if you want that new car, 
every single night when you go to bed, just visualize it in your head. Um, get that mental image of it and dream about it. Keep visualizing it. Think about what it's like driving it and how much you love it and the wind blowing in your hair. And just keep visualizing every single aspect of whatever you personally want to happen. And then the fourth step is taking action. Um, you can't just visualize it. You have to work for what you want and you have to work hard. And I honestly do believe that with hard work and patience and really dedicating yourself, this will happen. You can't just sit around and wait for things to happen. You have to visualize it and do all of these steps and then take action and you have to start somewhere. And I know that starting can be the hardest part, but if you never start, then you never know where it will take you. So I know this topic can be a little bit confusing and I hope I'm explaining it well, but I'm going to give you guys a few examples in my life um, of things that I really wanted and I made those things become a reality. So I have my goals right here. I've written them down and I love looking at them. Um, it makes me so proud and happy every time that I look at them. But I'm a makeup artist and one of my goals this year was that I wanted to do hair for a wedding and I wanted to style people's hair and I wanted to curl their hair and do whatever hairstyle that they wanted. And my goal was to not only do makeup for weddings but also do hair. And I visualized that, I looked up videos, I took pictures of hairstyles, I put them on my walls, I looked at them every single day and I know, I know it sounds so cheesy, but I kept saying, I'm going to do this, I can do this, I watched YouTube videos, I told people I love doing hair, I really am passionate about it, it's very important to me and it goes deeper than just the surface. And I used the positive affirmations. Every single day I looked at those pictures of those updos and I said, I can't wait to have my first wedding and I can't wait to do the hair. Um, I know it's going to go great and I'm going to have so much fun doing that hair and I just kept telling myself that I kept talking to myself like as if it had already happened and I had already got that wedding where I was doing the hairstyling and now um, my first wedding is end of March and I'm doing two people's hair and it happened you know so you can't doubt it and you have to say, I can do this, I'm going to do, do this, this is mine and how great is this hairstyle going to look? You You cannot use the word can't because that just puts a bridge and automatically you're telling yourself that you can't do it, then it's not going to happen and you're using excuses to stop the things that you want from happening. So I feel like that's a really good example of something that I've manifested and another example um, was my goal was to build my portfolio this year and I'm slowly taking the steps to make that happen and if my phone rings and I get a call about a job, I'm so, so thankful. and. And um, my phone rang a few weeks ago and I got a huge, huge commercial that I can't even talk to you guys about. And it was just because of my beliefs and my small acts of kindness um, that I try to do um, in my everyday life. And that happened to me and they wanted me to do the commercial and I said I wanted to put my portfolio and then that happened. And that's just another example of how I manifest things in my life. So I really know that this can help with whatever you want to achieve too. So the universe is only going to give you things when you're ready for it, um, but if you put any doubt whatsoever, then it's not going to happen. Just don't put any doubt into it because your mindset really is everything. If you put negative and nasty energy out into the universe and out into the world, how do you expect to get positive and loving energy back? It just doesn't work that way. But if you put positive and um, kind and really sweet things out into the universe, you will get those th same things back. And I know some of you are probably thinking that it's daunting and you don't know where to start but if you're positive and you put out that good energy and if you're proactive then it will come back to you and you'll get that job offer or, or you'll get what you've been dreaming of so with that positivity an example of what I try to do um, are just small acts of kindness um, whether it be just complimenting someone or um, saying sweet things or one thing that's so random and you guys are totally gonna laugh at me but every time I go to the grocery store I always walk my cart all the way back up to where I got it at the entrance of the grocery store and that's just my small act of kindness that um, I believe that 
things like that will come back to me. Um, so I might be a little bit um, superstitious and I do believe in karma and I strongly, strongly believe that good things happen to good people and if you're a good person, the universe will give you that job opportunity and all of a sudden um, when it pours, it rains, it will all come in at once and you'll realize that it was because you were ready and it was because of everything that you did and everything that you put out into the universe. The universe doesn't hear words like I want and I don't want. The universe just responds to energy and the vibes that you give out. That positivity is really, really important. So for example, I think that it's very important to not talk poorly about others behind their back or ever because who does that make you? At the end of the day, that's just defining who you are and putting out those negative vibes and talking poorly about someone will come back to you in a bad way. So I feel that that's a waste of time and breath and you should only be re radiating positivity or nothing at all. And you get what you give. So if you're radiating happiness and you're radiating kindness, then you will get that back in return. But if you're being a really mean person, then things that come back to you won't always be um, good things. So if you're always saying that you're broke and things like that, then you're never going to have money. You're not going to have what you want. As my teacher taught me, a thought is only a belief that you keep thinking. And I know all of this may sound so, so crazy and hard to grasp, but it's, it's physics and what you put out there and what you do is what you'll get in return. And like, for example, you don't hear a successful person saying, oh, I'm so fat. Um, I'm never going to get anywhere in life. I hate what I'm doing. Like you just don't hear that because successful people usually love what they do. So one other thing that I wanted to mention is that another goal of mine was to read more and gain more knowledge and wisdom and just to keep growing as a person. But I've been reading more and this book is called Finding Your Own North Star and it's a self-help book. So something that I've been wanting to tell you all is that you guys have two selves. So you have your social self and your essential self. And in this book, um, they do a good, good job explaining it, but your social self is the pressures you feel from your family and your friends. Like, for example, you need to go to med school or you need to go to law school and you need to do this. And this is kind of like the social pressures. So that's your social self. And then your essential self is actually what you're born with and the burning passions that you have inside of you from birth. And that's going to always be there no matter what, um, no matter where you go in life, your essential self is always that gut feeling inside of you. And you really need to listen to it because let's say that you get a nine to five job and you absolutely hate sitting and you don't want to be a salesperson for that job, but you're just doing it for the money. Well, your essential self inside of you is going to do anything in its power to fight back and make you stop that job, which I thought was such a life changing thing um, that I read in that book. So if you're at that nine to five desk job and you feel tired and grumpy and just miserable um, and, and it gets worse and worse every single day, that's actually your essential self inside of you um, trying to pretty much in full drive, trying to get you to leave that job and do what you're passionate about and it will do anything. It will make your life miserable and it'll make that gut feeling very strong and that instinct will kick in and it will be telling you this is not what you want to do and you need to move towards something that you want to do rather rather than listening to your social self, which is once again, all those pressures from society on what you should do. So listen to your gut. So if you're not feeling good and your emotions are feeling down and negative and confused and you feel just so sick to your stomach, 
try to listen to yourself and figure out what your essential self is trying to tell you because your essential self can't speak. So that's the only way that your essential self can fight back is by impacting your body and making you feel um, a certain way. So I know I rambled a little bit in this video, but I really, really hope that I inspired someone out there to help them with that job or with whatever they want to accomplish. It doesn't matter if it's something small, because if it's important to you, then it's important to me. And I really hope that this helped with your dreams and your goals and what you see for yourself in the future. So I hope you got something out of this Law of Attraction video. Let me know if you did in the comments below, and let me know if you want to hear more about my thoughts and beliefs on this topic, because I know I am a very spiritual person, but um, this is something that I believe in strongly. So if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure that I make more videos on this topic and more examples of things that I've gone through or other people have gone through. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. It means the world to me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.